Hello, how are you doing? I hope that you continue keeping safe. Welcome to another episode of Your Voice. And today we are recording from Nayeche Studios in Kileleshwa, Nairobi. And today we are decoding feminism. You know, when you hear the word feminism, a woman comes to mind. But today we have a man who believes in feminism. His name is Mustafa Dambuya. He is a journalist and a journalism trainer at Journalists for Human Rights. Welcome so much into the show. My name is Kawira Rose. This is your voice. This is your voice. So welcome so much into the show, Mustafa. And today we are talking about feminism. And I know it's very interesting to our viewers because, as I said when I was starting, you know, when we hear feminism, it's just a woman comes to mind. This is a woman thing. So if we could just start from your own perspective, what is feminism? Let's start from there. Let us understand what feminism is. Thank you for that. I mean, <laughs> feminism to me, in the basics of terms, describes the equalities of the genders. Mm -hmm. It promotes gender equality. It speaks about the importance for societies to work together, for people to put effort to invest in creating a fairer world mm -hmm. for the genders. And I will s focus here on men and women mm -hmm. in, in, this in, this in this context mm -hmm. that we're speaking in. So that's what feminism is. And I know there are a lot of other um, 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 interpretations out there. And, you know, because the world itself could be very loaded. It could be highly politically loaded about what it means. Mm -hmm. But feminism, irrespective of whatever definition or interpretation that you have for it, from my perspective, it speaks about the equalities of genders. Mm -hmm. Both this, genders, male and female? Both genders, male and female for this context. Mm -hmm. Because when we speak about gender as well today, mm -hmm. we have to be quite nuanced about it okay. because there is more out there, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. We have the LGBTQI communities. Mm -hmm. So there are many different genders out there. But for the context that you are speaking to me too about now, mm -hmm. we're talking about male and female. And female. Yeah. So if we look at the word feminism, you could agree with me that many people actually argue that the word is biased. Because when you, when you hear the word feminism, it's feminine, you, you know, a woman comes in mind. So I've talked to a lot of men and they're telling me that, Rose, you know, the word is biased. Why can't you just say human rights? Why do you have to say feminism? What do you have to say about that, Mustafa? It's an interesting, I mean, perspective, right? And I will not wrong people who, um, you know, who think, who think so. Mm -hmm. And that's why initially I talked about sometimes what could be political and also some people could weaponize um, concepts mm -hmm. as well, right? So feminism, and I would just like to answer to your question with paraphrasing a quote from Chimamanda Ngozi, right? Mm -hmm. We all know Chimamanda, the, ah, the, 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 the Nigerian writer, uh -huh. who also is a renowned feminist. True. And basically what Chimamanda talks about, the word feminism, and why don't we just say human rights? Chimamanda is only saying here, mm -hmm. well, feminism is an offshoot of human rights. But the reason why people are specific with feminism, it is to draw attention to specific gender that has been marginalized, mm -hmm. right? That has suffered inequality. So yes, otherwise we can, have, you know, we can as well say human rights, which covers everyone. Mm -hmm. But feminism in this instance is drawing attention mm -hmm. to correct a wrong mm -hmm. or to right to right a wrong, to ensure that society, people's attention are drawn to the marginalization of women mm -hmm. and then work towards creating a better society mm -hmm. for both genders, for, uh, you know, just creating a fairer society. So that's, so that's my answer to it. Mm -hmm. I cannot dismiss, I can't dismiss the point about why don't we just call it human rights. Mm -hmm. We can call it human rights, it covers everyone, but that doesn't address the problem. Okay. And the problem we have here is, for so long, we've had an unequal society, which is highly patriarchal. True. And we know what that means, as to, uh, 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 what patriarchy has done to the society. It has created a system that gives men an undue advantage. Mm -hmm. So you agree that the word is biased because uh, in this context we are trying to, you know, shift our minds towards one agenda that has been for the longest time uh, possible, you know, being marginalized, right? If I call it biased, I would say maybe it's a positive 
bias. Mm -hmm. But in this instance, what it really is, mm -hmm. feminism is saying, mm -hmm. is that we need an equal society. Wow. We need a society where mm -hmm. the girl and the boy must be able to go to school. Families must not hold back their daughters at home. Mm -hmm. It sounds ridiculous, but this still happens yeah. in certain cultures, in certain True. societies, where even today as we speak, boys have been privatized for education. What basically that does is it robs off girls mm -hmm. the opportunity to, to go get to, to go to school to get an education. And we know what it means to get an education. Education is empowering. True. It empowers you. When you missed out in education, we also know what that means. Right? Mm -hmm. It also limits your opportunities in the future. So for so, so for so long, mm -hmm. this is the kind of society that, that has been that has been created. Mm -hmm. So when so this is something that a concept like feminism is saying hello, hang on, wait, why can't we just create a society where okay. both boys and girls can go to school? Okay. That is equality. Okay. Why don't we create a society where you cannot be discriminated just because of your gender? True. You should be able to get the same job. Mm -hmm. Or why don't we create a society where women and men must be employed, must be you know, must be given opportunities based on their competence, mm -hmm. not based on their gender? Mm -hmm. Why can't Equal, why can't women and men have equal pay for a job they, they do? True. Sometimes that women could even do better, yeah, but they get yeah, less pay. Yeah. So these are so, you know, I'm just giving examples. Mm -hmm. And there are so many of these uh, yeah, examples yes, out so there many. from the basic, from the households, mm -hmm. to the community, to the society, to the national government. To the work environment. To the work, to, to the work environment. Mm -hmm. And that's what feminism talks about. Okay. It's basically saying, let us create society from right from the home. With the parents, how do we educate our girls? How do we socialize girls? Mm -hmm. How do we socialize boys? Okay, thank you so much, Mustafa. And you know, when I'm thinking about the word feminism, I'm just looking, uh, like I'm just thinking, maybe ten years from now, what if we'll have accomplished uh, that kind of uh, balance? What if we'll come to a point where now women are in the in the lead? Women are now given these opportunities that you are talking about. Will we have to change the name to masculinity? What do you think? Because <laughs> when I talk about the name, I know my fellow counterparts, my men colleagues, will argue with me and tell me, "See, look at this, Rose. If you if you say that the right word is feminism, mm -hmm. will we have to change the word once we come to a time where now men are the ones who are not given the same same opportunities well i crave for a world like that uh -huh. that you've just described uh -huh. a world where women and men will have equal opportunities mm -hmm. and you've even gone as far as saying women will surpass yeah I, you know while that will be the ambition while that will be the dream that we may want that we want we want to have an equal world we also have to be very realistic about the realities that we have about the structural realities that we have, mm -hmm. that we still have a long, way, long to, way, a long way to achieve that, and that's why we must not, you know, dismiss concepts and ideas uh, like the one that we're talking about now, which is feminism, feminism. a concept and ideas that talks about the equalities of mm -hmm. the genders. Mm -hmm. So we still have a long way to really, to really get there, and okay. we could see this in our everyday lives, True. in our homes. Mm -hmm. From our everywhere, homes, everywhere. we saw what happens in our homes. We saw what boys did. What you know, even the even the separation of um of duties, mm -hmm. even duties at home, chores at home, mm -hmm. have been gender desegregated. True. That's, I know that's actually that's a very critical area that I know most. It's going to be a heated conversation because mm -hmm. someone will argue that you know Mustafa. I'm a man, I, you know, I can't cook, I, you know, I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a woman, I should not provide. You know, for the longest time in our African culture, you know, I, I know there's a way that feminism is related to culture. And you even talk about house chores. For example, Mustafa, do you believe in this kind of, you know, the, the one that now when you are at home, you are the one who's supposed to do this, you are the one who's supposed to do this. Do you think that, uh, you know, when you, when you talk about inequality, does it come down to this home chores or these are just some other things we should Put aside, please, when you go home, you are a woman, please go to the kitchen and cook. You are a man, sit on the sofa, watch television and wait for your wife to bring you food on the table. Well, we can't dismiss the role mm -hmm. that the home plays. Mm -hmm. Remember, we say charity begins at home. Mm -hmm. And some of the problems that we face as a society today actually originate from the home. It starts with our families. Mm -hmm. It starts with the way we've been raised up. 
and you know you can't really it's hard to adopt new concepts once you are ad an adult you know what they say you can't give an old dog a new name true so it starts right from the homes the oppression of women actually really the origin of it is from the home mm -hmm. it is at the home that women are being taught to behave to socialize in certain ways in certain homes you know and we say these are this is we we label this as a culture, as a tradition mm -hmm. that women must cook, that boys must be out playing football with their friends while their sisters are doing the home chores. Mm -hmm. and, we know, and if we just go into the details of the impact of that on girls, mm -hmm. it's immense, it's huge. Mm -hmm. Because what happens is while the boy play football, having recreational opportunities to play, to refresh the mind, the girl is busy doing chores, washing dishes, helping out with cooking in, in in the communities in the villages that would basically means you know the girls will have to like you know be the one to chop the the, the greens they will have to do a lot of work mm -hmm. and by the time they finish or they complete their home chores they still have to do their assignments homework. their homework uh -huh. from school and sometimes they don't really have enough time left to do their homework or probably they will turn in their homework and they didn't give it their best mm -hmm. while the boys have all the time mm -hmm. in the world to do it to do it so this to do comes their homework. down to even the performance so it's already going to affect the performance of girls in school mm -hmm. because they, they 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 are being engaged to do too much while they could have actually shared those the responsibilities, responsibilities with their brothers i agree and you know and you have a similar scenario where probably maybe the father of the home that we call the breadwinner, mm -hmm. even the concept today has changed mm -hmm. because I know many homes that women are the breadwinners of. True. Right? So I think we cannot really underestimate the role that the home plays. Are they, are they and home? that is where it actually starts. That is where it begins. This is where we should start making this the is change. Where sh this is where the change starts. Mm -hmm. It's about the way we socialize boys and girls mm -hmm. when they're growing up. Wow. And that's True. And that foundation, to a very large extent, will mold, will shape their worldview, wow. will shape their outlook, True. will shape the way they see yeah. women. Which, which, for girls, that will shape their perspective, their notion of their role and their place mm -hmm. in society. Wow. I totally agree with you. I was actually having a conversation with a young man the other day and he was telling me, Rose, no, I have never seen my father cook. No, I've never seen my, my, my father, you know, doing laundry. I cannot do that. That's not how I was brought up. So I agree with you that this has to come from there at the beginning, at the home. We need to start socializing our boys and girls in a totally different way, yeah. uh, you know, compared to how we've been doing it. Yeah. So Mustafa, let's, I know this, we could talk about home chores for the longest time yeah, ever yeah. so let's go to the myths and misconceptions around feminism you mm -hmm, know mm -hmm. there are so many people who you know when you hear feminism there are so many people will come with their own definitions you know first of all is feminism really a woman thing let's start from there because most of us know that feminism is about women you know fighting for their rights yeah wh which it is but you know feminism also covers both rights you know as we yeah. started defining feminism so I mean, I would just say mm -hmm. it's not a woman thing. It is everyone's mm -hmm. business. What feminism tells you is it aspires, it pushes for the equality of men and women. Mm -hmm. And if you are a believer, if you believe in equality, if you believe that you must not be given certain privileges just because you're a man, then you are a feminist. So this is where I would call myself mm -hmm. a, fem a feminist, a feminist okay. or an ally at least. Mm -hmm. Because there are so many, you know, there is also a lot of debates out there whether men could actually really be feminist. Mm -hmm. But that is, a, that, is a, that is a debate, that's a discussion <laughs> for an other day. But uh -huh. what I will tell you is mm -hmm. that feminism is not a woman thing. And when we reduce it to that, it's problematic. Because then what that, what, what, because when, what happens then is that some men, without investing to, inve to, to find out more mm -hmm. about what this truly means, they shy away from it. Mm -hmm. They say, ah, this is a woman this thing. Is a woman. It's not my Th thing. This is a woman thing. I should not even be interested in True. it. You know? But again, some men, I know, so, I know I have friends 
people in friends and people in my family and people that I know mm -hmm. that are already feminists without calling themselves so. Wow. So even if you just forget about the term, mm -hmm. there are so many men who believe in equality. Yeah. There are so many men actually who don't just believe in, in it, mm -hmm. but they're actually doing their something. Actions. Their actions. Uh -huh. They're doing something to promote it. Mm -hmm. They, they're working towards creating an equal world. Mm -hmm. So these are, you know, whether you call yourself a feminist or not, mm -hmm. but that is it. But again, as I said earlier, concepts and terminologies like these sometimes could be political. Mm -hmm. And then for some people could even weaponize it to use it, mm -hmm. you know, to fight. Wow. So the, the whole point is, the whole point is, even if we just take away mm -hmm. the, the concept, term. the term, mm -hmm. We talk about what we talk about. We talk about the actions. The actions. Talk, then what it based, what what essentially means then is it talks about equality everyone. of the genders of mm -hmm. everyone. Yeah. And and when we talk about this, we talked earlier about the homes, about how we are raised up, mm -hmm. how we are socialized. True. True. But then again, it transcends that. It goes on to the extent of actually now looking at the society that we live in, about government, about corporations, institutions, about policies in these institutions. Mm -hmm. about, because we definitely know we have certain institutions mm -hmm. that are not gender sensitive, True. They, that do not have policies that create equality, that, we, that, that, that discriminate women. Mm -hmm. We could speak about the media, which we are both part of. Yeah. We, we know what happens in many newsrooms. Right? Male we, know, up to date. we know the newsrooms to to a very large extent, many of them, it's 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 universal. Mm -hmm. It's not just uh it's not like it's not it's not it's just not an African thing, mm -hmm. it's universal. In so many places it's still male dominated. Yeah. And especially when it comes to decision making at that level, mm -hmm. it is still men who make the decisions. Okay. So sometimes you get men making decisions on, on issues that do not affect them, yeah. that they do not understand much about. Mm -hmm. You know, so when you're talking about being a feminist, I think it, this is where it comes from. It is for me as a man, for instance, it's about understanding my position in society. Mm -hmm. It's about understanding my privileges. Your actions. My, yes, yeah. it's about understanding my privileges mm -hmm. as a man, right? Mm -hmm. that, as a man, I could wake up in the morning, I could go to work, and I could do so many other things mm -hmm. without being harassed much yeah. compared to my female colleague True. who might, you know, be harassed, <laughs> who might be called names, who yeah, might be touched, absolutely. who might be touched inappropriately. Mm -hmm. So it's about foremost understanding the privileges that we have. So once we start understanding these privileges, we understand the society that we live in, mm -hmm. then we will start to do something to change this. Mm -hmm. And before I just end this, mm -hmm. what feminism is and what it's not, mm -hmm. and I, it's not about men against women. Mm -hmm. That's I've, also another area that Because you know. I've seen a lot of this, True. especially on social media, True. about people who try to speak about this, mm -hmm. and they're reducing the conversation to men and versus women. women. You know, the other day when we had this case of a young woman being thrown from, you know, from a high place, and, you know, there was a lot of conversation around it, men against women. And as we just hold on that point, uh, Mustafa, you know, I, I'm thinking, you know, when we talk about these organizations that that they fight, uh, you know, they fight inequality, you know, the feminists, if I may call them, Someone was again talking to me because I love interactions because the more you interact with people then you can now understand how the situation it, it is at the ground. You know, you find that there are other women, there are other men actually who also their rights are violated, but you don't see feminists coming with the same energy to fight for the rights that have been violated when it comes to men, you know. So I was going through uh, some social media platform and I realized that there's another man who was killed, who was killed by uh, his girlfriend. So you can realize that these such cases, feminists don't come in with so much energy to fight for men's rights. So I don't know how that uh, you think about that kind of a situation because when it comes to a woman's issue, then feminists will come in and really protest and, you know, fight for the rights. But when it's a man case uh -huh. then the energy is not as much I don't like to speak more about these issues on a binary mm -hmm. uh, from a binary lens right mm -hmm. it's either this or that mm -hmm. it's black or white it's not it's usually much more you know complex and nuanced than this and I also don't agree mm -hmm. that women don't stand up mm -hmm. to support men's rights mm -hmm. I they mean do. I will use the black lives matter wow. as an example 
the Black Lives Matter, which was started in the United States, mm -hmm. but then it spread across the world, and I'm sure even in Kenya and other Africa countries, women came out to protest against police brutality. Mm -hmm. Police brutality against who? It's mostly affecting black men. True, true. Right? Yeah. Black police brutality in America and other parts of the world usually really affect men more. But when, but when the Black Lives Matter started, actually women were leading the Black Lives Matter mm -hmm. struggle. And so you cannot tell me then that women are not coming out to support mm -hmm. men's rights. Mm -hmm. Because women are coming out, women are campaigning against you know, police brutality. Mm -hmm. They're agitating against police brutality. Mm -hmm. So, I would, yeah, so that is, that is just not true <laughs> that's not true yeah. so women are actually coming out to speak uh, uh you know uh, about uh, men's rights right yes so even as we talk about myths and misconceptions there's someone who was talking about toxic mas masculinity i mean toxic feminism sorry mm -hmm. So is there something like toxic feminism? Is there something like that that, you know, you, you hear people saying that now this feminism is coming too much, it's becoming too much, it's becoming out of context. Do you believe that there's something called toxic femi feminism? These are very politically loaded terms. Uh -huh. I mean, but I will just tell you, for every concept, for every movement, there are always extremes. Uh -huh. You always have e extremes in every aspect of life mm -hmm. religion yeah right mm -hmm. in religion we have extremes we have extreme we have extremes in religion as well it, we have extremes people when it comes to democracy we have extremes in every every sphere of life so feminism being a human concept being a concept that we live every day is also not devoid of people on the extreme Mm -hmm. so, that, so, so that's it. We cannot just limit it to feminism. Mm -hmm. There are extremes in every, every sphere. Mm -hmm. There are people who take things to, too the, far. E too far, to, the, to the extreme. Mm -hmm. Right. There are people who take things to the extreme. But you know, will we use that to judge or to dismiss a whole concept? People. But at, at the, the bottom line of feminism, mm -hmm. it speaks about equality the human rights the human rights mm -hmm. of women wow so these two are intertwined they are intertwined mm -hmm. but then again and some people when they talk about feminism and i will not you know disagree when the movement started it pointed towards more women rights women rights mm -hmm. not human women human women human rights mm -hmm. but today feminism is a concept that keeps evolving mm -hmm. and there is more than one feminism out there there are so many of them. Yes, nowadays. there is more than one feminism out there. Mm -hmm. We have liberal feminists, mm -hmm. right? We have liberal feminists who looks at the character who believes in a much more liberal approach to feminism. Mm -hmm. And we also have radical feminists who believes that for any sustainable or meaningful change to occur, we must dismantle mm, mm -hmm. ma the, the male supremacy, mm -hmm. the male dominance over things. Mm -hmm. Those are radical feminists. And I said earlier that there are different, different concepts out there. Mm -hmm. And there are always extremes for every concept, for every movement. Yeah. But we cannot use the extreme mm -hmm. to, to judge yeah. the entire movement. The entire movement. I yes. totally agree with you. Now, there's a real problem in Kenya. You must agree with me, Mustafa, that feminism for the longest time has been a fight between men and women. I don't know what it is that feminists are doing wrong. I mean, are we doing, are we, you know, approaching the matter in a wrong way? What, what is it that we are doing uh, to make feminism appear that, I mean, in such a way that it is now a fight between men and women? What is it that you are doing uh, right? Or what is it that you are doing wrong? I definitely, that I'm not sure I have a clear answer to uh -huh, that, uh -huh. to, to that um, question. Uh -huh. But what I will say is, based on my own observation, uh -huh. based on, you know, I'm, I've been trying to follow up on the conversations, on especially the social media platform, uh -huh. I will say some of the conversation has not been helpful, has not been really um, um, progressive. Uh -huh. Because what I've seen is it's been pitched as men versus women. A, woman, a man did this to a yes, woman. Yes, and a woman, yeah, so it's mm -hmm. been men versus women. And I think that not, that's not how we can have meaningful, progressive conversations, mm -hmm. right? We, we can't have meaningful, progressive conversations like that, mm -hmm. because that's what I've seen. So, so the concept always comes up 
when probably maybe there is one incident and everyone becomes interested all of a sudden mm -hmm. on feminism yeah. and they go to their social media and type platform all, and then all share, their this. share their frustration. Uh -huh. But what I think is required is a genuine investment mm -hmm. of time with on this discussion mm -hmm. and as a society we mm -hmm. must actually be um, invested mm -hmm. in addressing this mm -hmm. and the way we address it, mm -hmm. it starts with education, mm -hmm. awareness, get educated, this is wrong, be aware, mm -hmm. learn about the different ways of how your own, you know, your own behaviors, mm -hmm. your own attitude, how does that affect people, mm -hmm. how does your attitude, how does your behavior mm -hmm. affect mm -hmm. your female folks. Mm -hmm. I think it starts from there, but also on the other hand, with, and you know, and I don't want to put this responsibility, mm -hmm. as you say, on women, because I assume when you said feminist, you're trying to say Both women. Both gender. It's, feminism is not just women, and I, don't yeah. want, I think it's unfair mm -hmm. to put this burden yeah. on women, to on say women it's your duty mm -hmm. to educate men mm -hmm. what feminism is. I think it's the other way around. Mm -hmm. I think men, we must... Embrace invest. feminism. We must invest. Mm -hmm. Well, you can't embrace what you don't know. Mm -hmm. This is why I say education is important. Mm -hmm. Get educated, read, learn, mm -hmm. engage. Create meaning, awareness. Meaningful, meaningfully. Mm -hmm. And then, once you're able to be aware, you can engage meaningfully. Mm -hmm. I guess you have answered my next question. I mean, what can we really do? Because most of the times, Mustafa, when there's an incident where a woman's right has been violated, you get people going viral and saying, you know, a man has done this. All men are dogs, you've heard them saying. All men are rapists. All men. So I think the conversation that we try to have are not actually meaningful. We should be calling out the inequality. We should be calling out the wrong deeds and not all women women or men or women at large yeah so that we know we, we now don't have a conversation where we are pointing at each other you men do this to us or you may women do this to us let us acknowledge the the inequality that has taken place okay if it is something that has been violated if it is a right you know right to privacy you know so if it's that right that has been violated, I am for the fact that let us call out that particular thing and let's not generalize the whole situation and put it in terms of one gender against the other gender. So uh, even as we are winding up, Mustafa, I want you to probably uh, tell us why is it that for the longest time ever, there are so many um, uh, female feminists compared to men feminists. You have told us that you one person who uh, advocates for feminism, so I want to agree that you are a feminist. I, yeah? mean, I am a feminist. <laughs> I would like to be myself like that. <laughs> Thank you so much. So <laughs> why is it that we are not getting more men on board? Why is it that for the longest time we are having only females who are advocating for these rights and not men? It comes down to one thing, mm -hmm. and I will tell you that. Mm -hmm. Pat mm -hmm. And I, I, you know, I talked about what it, I talked about what it, uh, it means earlier, right? Mm -hmm. And who is the biggest beneficiary of a patriarchal system? Men. Okay. Mm -hmm. So it's not easy to give power away. Wow. Power is something that people hold because what patriarchy does, mm -hmm. it puts power in the hands of, of men. men mostly. Mm -hmm. Not to say, yeah, it's put power in the hands of men. Mm -hmm. And it's not easy. We see how the politi our politics work. Mm -hmm. It's not easy, to and give. I'm not okay, it's not easy to give away wow. power. Mm -hmm. So this is where, but even at the point to where patriarchy hurts men sometimes even more. Patriarchy is hurtful. It hurts men in so many ways. Mm -hmm. Because if you just realize the way boys were raised, and this is why you have a lot of cases of maybe sometimes violence that because men have been raised to be men, you know? You know, what, what does it mean to be a man? Say so you have to be strong. You can't show emotions. You can't cry. You can't cry. So when you are, when things are bothering you mentally, you just try to bottle them. Mm -hmm. You cannot pour them out. Mm -hmm. You don't even speak about it. So to a point where the next move you take mm -hmm. to express your frustration could end up becoming violent. Wow. Women are actually better at emotions mm -hmm. because they've been raised to do so. When a woman is emotionally challenged, when they have some women, mm -hmm. when they face a problem, what do they do? They find a, a bestie, mm -hmm. they find a friend, mm -hmm. they talk about it, they cry about it. It helps to release, mm -hmm. it helps to release the emotions, mm -hmm. the frustration, uh -huh. the stress. Uh -huh. So, 
So patriarchy also is, has negative effect on these men. It has negative well. effects on these wow. men. But men will go all the way to keep to control to keep patriarchy mm -hmm. surviving mm -hmm. because patriarchy favors men. It does favor some women too. But it's a power system. It's a system. It's not an individual. Mm -hmm. It's a, it's a, patriarchy is a system that benefit so many people along a chain line mm -hmm. okay wow yeah. so what I, I i'm getting from your comment is that um you know uh patri i mean uh you know the reason why we have more feminists who are women is because men are finding it so hard to you know give away this power that has belonged to them for the longest time ever right that's one thing but then also it's that's that's patriarchy right mm -hmm. because that's how they've been educated that's how they've been that's how they've been brought up so that's why i keep emphasizing the way forward to this mm -hmm. is really is education. Education. It's about get education. And learning these uh, toxic uh, cultures. Learn things and unlearn these things. Wow. Unlearn wow. these things. Mm -hmm. Unlearn, unlearn mm -hmm. the, the, the culture that tells you that mm -hmm. you are a man, okay. so therefore you are powerful. And I do agree. Mm -hmm. Men and women are not the same yeah. biologically. Right? Biological. You know, even the hormones. Men have testosterone. Yeah. That's why we, you know, we're muscular, we're stronger. So there are some differences there. Yeah. But what difference does that really make? That's, you know, that, that's the point. Okay. So I can see we're actually running out of time. Thank you so much, Mustafa, for having time for your voice. And I, I think we just agree with Achima Amanda that we should all be feminists. Let's all fight for our rights. Let's all fight for, you know, let us call out these uh, issues that are actually bringing us uh, backwards, right? So this has been your voice. My name is Kawira Rose. We have been shooting live from Nyayache Studios. You can, uh, you know, follow them on their show socials for you to book uh, your, your shootings. Thank you so much again for having us. Our lives begin to end when we become silent about things that matter. This is your voice.